Hi, Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. First Timothy chapter 4 verse 1 and 2 followed by Pat's Two Cents. Now the Spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils, speaking lies in hypocrisy, having their conscience seared with a hot iron. Mm. Okay, Pat's two cents. Now listen. Sometimes in these last days, we're going to be hearing some weird stuff. Now, you know how strange things are getting. Anytime a school forces you to accept a lifestyle that God calls an abomination, anytime you are forced to marry, as a minister, you are forced to marry a combination that is diametrically opposed to, to the Old and New Testament. Anytime people try to legalize what's wrong and criticize what God calls right. You know we're living in the last days. You know we are. A lot of the signs. Sons and daughters will rise up against fathers and mothers. Disrespectful. Unholy. Unthankful. Rebellious. I'm not even going to try to go down the list. We know. We see the signs. The writing is all on the wall. Knowing that these are the last days, what kind of person ought you to be? What kind of relationship should you have with God? How closely should you follow His ways? His statutes, his commandments, his standards, his character. When you say that you're saved, when you say that you're sanctified, if you never said it, would anybody suspect you of it? Could you ever be arrested for acting like a Christian? Now I'm throwing out questions because we should all reassess ourselves. When you know that we're in the last days like we are, we really have to be careful. If you're walking around and you're talking in tongues and you're pray hallelujah, glory to God, glory, 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 all that, and you're praising and you're doing the holy dance and you're reading the word and quoting the scriptures left and right, and all, you know, uh, John 3, 16, for God so loved the world, and you're going on and on and on. Guess what? It means nothing to anybody. If you're walking around, you MF, blah, 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 kiss my MF. And blah. Think about it. Think about it. If I invite you over, for, I'm making some points here. If I invite you over to my house, sit you down with candlelight and my fancy silverware and my fancy china that I don't have, crystal, everything is just gorgeous and beautiful. And I pull my pan out that I baked my meat on. And there are roaches crawling on the pan. And 
the pan looks like it hasn't been washed in a year. All the meals for the last year have been cooked on that pan. And it's barely been rinsed. Just shoved aside to make room for the fresh meat that's on there now. I don't care how pretty things look on the table. Are you really going to eat... Are you really going to eat that nasty meat that I just cooked? Hmm? And while you're sitting there trying to figure out how can get how can you get around the meat, the pot I bring out with the mashed potatoes and the veggies, the pots are nasty. And the roaches are starting to crawl on the table and on the wall they're so bold. And one drops on your hand and you're grossed out. Are you really planning on staying there and eating that meal? Well, if you don't want to eat that crap, in a crappy setting, I don't care how fancy I made it look, it's still a crappy setting when it's not clean. If that turns you off, how do you think people are turned off to us who claim to be Christians? And we've got poop flying out of our mouths. Every other word got poop on it. We have an attitude. And we'll look you up and down. What is your problem? And we're ready to go off all the way up in your behind. If we're walking around with as sly, slick, or wicked, and, and we're backstabbing people, and we're lying, and we're we're uh uh excuse me we are argumentative confrontational we're volatile haul off and slap you mm -hmm. i'm gonna take your behind the church i don't think so thank you but no, thank you. I'm out of here. Come on. What kind of witness are you for the Lord? Hmm? When you are like that, when everything about what you believe, what you do, what you play with, what you listen to, what you entertain yourself by, the, the way that you respond to uneasy situations, the choices you make, the things that you go for, the little crystals and the incantations and the and the, the crystal ball and, and the uh the Ouija board and the psychics on the phone and the sex calls and you, you go into your little sexual fantasy and you're playing all these games. But on Sunday or Saturday, well, praise the Lord. <laughs> Glory to God. Isn't God good? God is good all the time. And all the time, God is good. Baby, you ain't. And you ain't making the church look good either. So until you can get your happy hips lined up with the word of God and God's standards and ways. It might be better for you to go incognito for a while. Hmm? 